In the post-apocalyptic world of 2043, a deadly disease has wiped out over half the population, leaving only 1% immune survivors hiding in underground bunkers. After 30 years of work, Dr. Jones and her team finally completed a time machine. They aim to change the future of Earth by stopping the deadly disease before it starts spreading. By sending a man back in time through the machine, Dr. Jones selects a young man named Cole, who along with his friend Ramsey, struggles to find food and water in the devastated world. Chosen for a specific reason to be revealed later, Cole agrees to the mission, knowing humanity's survival depends on it. After receiving injections to withstand time travel, Cole is sent back to 2013. In 2013, the world was still normal. We see a doctor named Cassie giving a speech about how to protect oneself from various diseases, warning that viruses are constantly evolving. When Cassie was talking to her boyfriend Aaron while sitting in her car, she was startled by a voice behind her telling her to hold on and drive. This voice belonged to Cole, the same person from 2043 who had traveled back to 2013 to stop the disease. Hearing Cole's voice, Aaron alerted the police, believing someone had caught Cassie to quickly trace her car. Cassie was frightened, but Cole tried to explain that she didn't need to be afraid of him. He revealed that he had come from 30 years in the future and knew everything about her, urging her to help him prevent the world from being destroyed after 2017. At first, Cassie didn't believe him and thought he was crazy. To prove himself, Cole recounted detailed events from Cassie's childhood up to the present, information he knew from the future. Cassie suspected he had obtained these details from her files. Cole then stopped the car and decided to prove he was truly from the future. He showed Cassie her watch, which he had brought from the future. Cassie was already wearing the same watch. Cole made a mark on the watch Cassie was wearing, and immediately, the same mark appeared on the watch Cole had. This convinced Cassie that Cole was indeed from the future. Cassie starts asking Cole why he has come to her, and Cole explains everything. He tells her that the disease that will destroy the world in 2017 is started by a man named Leland Frost. Cole's mission is to change the future by killing him. However, Cassie has never heard of Leland Frost. Cole realizes he has traveled two years too early, and Cassie hasn't yet become the chief scientist at the CDC. Cole tells Cassie to meet him at a hotel in two years, explaining he will time travel to that point. Just then, the police arrive and shoot Cole in the stomach. Before disappearing, Cole gives Cassie the hotel's address and time travels away. Two years pass, and it's now 2015. Cassie waits for Cole at the hotel he mentioned. During these two years, her life changes completely. She tried to warn everyone about the impending apocalypse in 2017, but no one believed her. Even her boyfriend Aaron left her, thinking the events of that night had affected her sanity. Just as Cassie is losing hope that Cole will show up, the injured Cole arrives, telling her he has come from 2013. Cassie, being a doctor, takes Cole to her room and treats his wound, which luckily only grazed him, ensuring he is safe. Cassie starts asking Cole for the whole truth, wanting to know his connection to all this and how he plans to save the world. She tells him that since he traveled through time in 2013, her life has fallen apart because she knows the world is going to end. Cole explains everything to her. He tells her that in 2017, millions of people were dying every day from the disease. During that time, Cassie was the lead scientist at the CDC, working to find a cure. Unfortunately, she also got infected and died. However, before she died, she recorded a final message. In the message, she revealed that the person who started the disease was a man named Leland Frost, and that only a man named Cole could stop him. This recording was found by Dr. Jones in the year 2043. Because Cole's name was mentioned in the recording, Jones chose Cole for the mission. Cole's mission was to kill Frost in the past, to prevent the disease from ever spreading, thereby changing the future. Cole tells Cassie that if they succeed in changing the future, the proof will be his disappearance from reality. If the world doesn't get destroyed, there would be no reason to build the time machine, and he would never have come to the past. Essentially, Cole is risking his own existence to save the world. After learning the truth, Cassie tells Cole that she spent the last two years searching for Leland Frost. She discovered that Leland is the CEO of a private company that experiments with biological weapons. She also found out that Leland would be attending a party that night. Cole and Cassie decide to go to the party to confront Leland. At the party, they run into Cassie's ex-boyfriend Aaron, who has no idea that Cassie and Cole are there to kill Leland. Aaron tells Cassie that if she hadn't gotten caught up in the time travel nonsense two years ago, they would still be together. Cole and Cassie manage to find Leland at the party. He is introducing his top scientist, Peter, to the guests praising him as the most talented scientist in his company. With groundbreaking ideas, just as Cole moves forward to kill Leland, Leland's guards catch both him and Cassie. They are taken to Leland's lab for testing. In the lab, 
Peter examines Cole and finds that his brain is functioning more complexly than normal, indicating he perceives time differently. Cole tells Cassie that he will soon travel back in time because his time is running out here, and he takes his watch from Cassie for safety. Leland enters the lab and starts to remember everything. He claims to have seen Cole back in 1987, and Cole looked the same then as he does now. The brain scans confirm that Cole can have moved back and forth in time, which surprises Cole because he has never been to 1987. Leland replies that although Cole hasn't traveled to 1987 yet, he might do so in the future. This means that what happened in Leland's past will occur in Cole's future. Leland says that whatever Cole is trying to stop will surely happen, creating an endless paradox. Leland orders his guards to kill Cole and Cassie, but Cole is prepared. He quickly touches Cassie's future watch and her current watch together, causing space-time to slow down and creating a massive explosion. In the chaos, Cole saves Cassie, while Leland is injured and his guards are killed. The explosion happens because two identical objects from different times cannot coexist in the same space-time. Cole remembers being warned about this during his time travel training, as touching his past self would result in both versions being destroyed. With the guards down, Cole seizes the opportunity to shoot and kill Leland, believing he has finally changed the future and saved the world. However, Cassie points out that if the future had truly changed, Cole wouldn't still be there. This means the world is still destined to be destroyed by the disease. They realize that someone else must be responsible for spreading the disease, not Leland. As they think who the true culprit could be, the police arrive. Cole tells Cassie to hide while he returns to the future to figure out their next move. Cold Time travels back to 2043 and informs Dr. Jones and the rest of her team about killing Leland. Despite this, the outbreak still occurred, indicating they have yet to find the true origin of the virus. The team begins researching old news articles and notices a recurring monkey logo. They listen to Cassie's 2017 recording again and hear the mention of the Army of the Twelve Monkeys. So this was not a natural outbreak, but this organization spread the virus. Jones discovers that in 2015, Leland had a daughter named Jennifer, who was locked up in a mental hospital and used to draw monkey symbols. They decide to send Cole back to 2015 to question Jennifer and find out if she's connected to the outbreak. Cole pretends to be mentally ill and gets admitted to Jennifer's hospital. While observing Jennifer for a few days, Cole learns that Leland had a secret lab known only to Jennifer and another person, and he have hidden something there. Jennifer didn't tell Cole about the address of secret lab, Cassie already found out that Cole is in mental hospital, so she immediately goes to free him. Just then, a mysterious man with a marked face kidnaps Jennifer. Strangely, the man knows about Cole and mentions that he got the mark on his face because of Cole, though Cole doesn't recall meeting him before. Cole tries to stop the kidnapper but eventually fails. He have to find this mysterious man who knows about Leland's secret lab. After some research, they discover that another scientist who worked with Jennifer might be the second person who knows about Leland's secret lab. This scientist was named Henry and was killed in 2014. Cassie knew him because they had worked together on investigating an epidemic in a village. Cole decides to travel back to 2014 to find Henry and learn the location of Leland's secret lab. Before heading to 2014, Cole meets with Dr. Jones and his friend Ramsey in 2043 to finalize the plan. They tell him that finding the lab is critical because it might contain the last sample of the virus. Jones warns Cole not to meet Cassie in 2014 as it could alter the timeline because Cassie of that timeline don't know about Cole. In 2014, Cassie, Henry, and several other doctors are working to find a cure for an epidemic spreading in a village. During this time, Cassie and Henry grow closer while helping the local people. Cole travels back to 2014, wearing a mask to disguise himself. He approaches Henry, lying about his identity. Cassie arrives at the scene and Cole quickly runs away to avoid meeting her before 2015. As Cole flees, Henry starts following him, suspecting that Cole is stealing medicines from the camp. Cole manages to talk to Henry and makes a deal. He will help Henry deliver medicine to his patients, but in return, Henry must give him the address of Leland's secret lab. Henry agrees and explains that they were developing a powerful virus with the goal of curing diseases. While they were talking, the same mysterious man who had kidnapped Jennifer in 2015 appears. This time, he has no scar on his face and does not recognize Cole. The man is also searching for Henry to learn the location of Leland's secret lab. A fight breaks out between Cole and the man. During the struggle, Cole hits him, leaving a mark on his face, the same scar Cole had seen in the future. After the fight, Cole presses Henry for the lab's address. Henry reveals the location, then Cole kills him to keep the lab's location a secret. Cole returns to 2015 and tells Cassie that that mysterious man killed Henry. The man with the scar is part of the Army of the Twelve Monkeys, and they will have to soon reach to the location of lab. 
They quickly make their way to the lab, which is hidden in the yard of a government building. Upon entering, they find a technician named Yvonne working inside. However, just as they arrive, the guards of the 12 Monkeys group capture everyone. The 12 Monkeys have reached the lab before them. Technician Ivan informs Cole and Cassie that the 12 Monkeys do not know the access code to the virus case. He explains that if the wrong code is entered, or if they try to open the case manually, the virus will be destroyed by high temperatures. The same mysterious man kills Ivan, frustrated by the lack of information about the code. The man tells his name is Peter. He torture Cole and Cassie to extract the access code from them. During the confrontation, Peter reveals to Cassie that Cole killed Henry in 2014 to keep the secret lab's location hidden, which angers Cassie. Cole apologizes, explaining that Henry was a good man and that he didn't want to kill him, but felt he had to for the sake of the world's future. Meanwhile, Peter manages to remove the cage from the vault containing the deadly virus sample. However, he still doesn't know the access code to open it. In a fit of rage, he demands the code from Jennifer. Unknown to Peter, Jennifer has already secretly whispered the access code to Cassie and Cole. Seeing their chance, Cole and Cassie destroy the virus, setting off an explosion that burns down the entire lab. The guards start shooting at them. Cole quickly hides with Jennifer while the 12 Monkeys group captures Cassie. Cole is torn between staying hidden and trying to save Cassie, but before he can act, he is unexpectedly pulled back to the year 2043. He is shocked to find himself in a changed future timeline. The world is still in ruins, but the time machine in the lab was never built. The changes Cole made in 2015 altered the timeline, and now the world has been destroyed by a different series of events. In this new timeline, Dr. Jones, who had created the time machine, is now just a technician and does not recognize Cole. Cole shows her the marks from the injection on his arms, trying to convince Jones that he was part of a time travel mission. He explains that he destroyed Leland's lab in 2015, leading to this altered future. Cole researches the new timeline to understand what went wrong. He discovers that when the 12 monkeys captured Cassie, they killed her in 2015. Without Cassie, the crucial recording was never made in 2017, meaning Dr. Jones never received the message about the virus's origin and never built the time machine. With the time machine incomplete, Cole cannot travel back to the past to correct the timeline. Cole discovers his friend Ramsey is the leader of the group, so he seeks Ramsey's permission to restart the time machine. Ramsey agrees to help Cole. After a lot of hard work, Cole and Jones finally manage to restart the machine. Before Cole departs, Jones tells him a secret word, sacrifice, instructing him to tell this word to Jones if he restores the original timeline. Cole travels back to 2015, arriving just as the 12 Monkeys guards are taking Cassie away from the lab. Cole goes to find Aaron, Cassie's boyfriend until 2013. Cole tells Aaron the truth about everything that's happening, and together, they plan to save Cassie. They track down the 12 Monkeys hideout where Cassie is being held. Cassie overhears Peter talking to an unknown woman about how their plan is still on track, and how they will soon release the virus. Before anything can happen, Cole and Aaron arrive, and in a fierce confrontation, they manage to rescue Cassie. By saving Cassie, Cole prevents her death and restores the original timeline. However, he is frustrated to realize that despite their efforts, the virus outbreak still occurs. Cole returns to 2043, where everything is as it was before, with Dr. Jones leading the mission. Cole explains to Jones how the future changed due to the events in 2015 and how he had to go back to save Cassie to restore the timeline. Remembering Jones's advice, Cole asks about the secret word, sacrifice. Jones tells Cole the full truth about the time machine's effects on him. Each time Cole uses the time machine to travel to the past, it negatively impacts his body. Jones reveals that Cole can only travel a few more times before his body collapses completely, which will ultimately kill him. However, Cole is still determined to sacrifice himself to save the world. Cole decides to travel back to 2015, where he continues researching the case with Cassie. Cole and Cassie, along with Aaron, who now believes Cole's story about being from the future, begin to investigate further. As they work together, Cole discovers that the origin of the virus is connected to a young Leland in 1987. It was around this time that the group called the 12 Monkeys was formed, which intentionally released the virus. To gain more insight, Cole decides to travel to 2017 to witness the effects of the virus firsthand. He observes how millions of people are dying each day from the new virus. Cole then visits Cassie in 2017, who was infected with the virus, and shares a shocking revelation. The research shows that the outbreak was not planned now, 
but it already started in 1987 when the 12 Monkeys group was formed. Surprisingly, despite their efforts, they couldn't stop the outbreak. It seems everything was pre-planned, like killing Leland and destroying the lab sample, and the 12 Monkeys knew it would happen as part of their plan. They let it happen. This means they didn't originate in 1987, but they came from the future. Someone traveled back in time to create the group in 1987 with a plan to destroy the Earth through an outbreak, which is why Cole couldn't stop the attack. This series named is 12 Monkeys, and it have 47 episodes. I have explained 8 episodes to introduce you into series. You can watch rest on your own. Thank you for watching.